Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of SNL Saturday Night Library Trivia. This series was created by Carrie and Amber at the Powell Branch, and I am your host, Mandy, also from the Powell Branch. Here are the rules. Today, there are three rounds of trivia. You can grab a piece of paper and a pen if you want. Feel free to pause this video at any time. There's no time limit. Don't cheat. And the prize is your genius. Today, all three categories are movie taglines. So if you want to number your piece of paper, there are 20 questions per round and there are three rounds. Okay, let's get ready. Um, I wanted to address a question from last week on Facebook. Uh, all of the answers to these questions will be at the end. So hang in. We got answers. Here we go. Number one. When you wake up in a different place at a different time, can you wake up as a different person? Number two, and now, at last, another film completely different from some of the other films which aren't quite the same as this one is. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. Question three, fast cars, fast girls, fast carrots? I don't remember carrots in this movie, but apparently there were. Question four, somebody has taken their love of scary movies one step too far. You know what this is. Question five, there's something about your first piece. Question six, a love that will last forever. Question seven, relive the best seven years of your college education. This could be like two movies, for sure two movies. I picked the wrong one. Question eight, trapped in time, surrounded by evil, low on gas. Question nine, he's a man of peace in a savage land, suburbia. Question 10, just because they serve you, doesn't mean they like you. This is like some classic 90s action. Question 11, weird is relative. Question 12, where's Olive? This is not Popeye, <laughs> I'll give you a clue. I thought it was Popeye. Question 13. They're not there to shop. They're not there to work. They're just there. Question 14. Collide with destiny. Question 15, buy the ticket, take the ride. Question 16, sex, clothes, popularity. Is there a problem here? Question 17, would you erase me? I don't know why I thought this was a razor head, but it's not. <laughs> Question 18, life is one long insane trip. Some people just have better directions. Question 19, 
Experience it, enjoy it, just don't fall for it. And question 20, no logs, no limits, one rule, never fall in love. It could be a bunch of movies. <laughs> All right, round two, movie taglines continued. Question one, the bride gets the thrills, the father gets the bills. This is a remake. Question two, just because you're invited doesn't mean you're welcome. Question three, the happiest sound in all the world. You can kind of tell from the wording that that might be a little bit older movie, maybe. Question four, on every street, in every city, in this country, there is a nobody who dreams of being a somebody. I'm not gonna get too dramatic on these, but this is a, this is a pretty dramatic movie. Question five, he may be dead, but he's the life of the party. Question six, if at first you don't succeed, lower your standards. Question seven, for anyone who ever witched upon a star. Don't overthink this, you know this one. Question eight, midnight never strikes when you're in love. Those two, the last one and this one are related time periods, same studio. Question nine, you'll believe a man can fly. There were a ton of remakes for this one or sequels. This is the first one. Well, first one. Yeah. <laughs> Question 10, good girls want him bad, bad girls want him worse. <laughs> Question 11, his whole life was a million to one shot. Question 12, part man, part machine, all cop. <laughs> and there's a, re there's a bunch of sequels and remakes for this one too. Question 13, he is afraid, he is totally alone, he is three million light years from home. Question 14, 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. That's a lot of space to find one fish. Question 15, he loved the American dream with a vengeance. Question 16, the night he came home. I'll give you guys a clue, this is a, a horror movie. Sometimes it's hard to tell. That could be a romance tagline if you didn't say it with that same <laughs> like scariness night he came home. No, it's a horror movie. Question 17. If he were any cooler, he'd still be frozen, baby. 
This is like, it seems like this movie was just so long ago. Question 18, the most beautiful love story ever told. Question 19, the thing that won't die in the nightmare that won't end. Question 20. He was never in time for his classes, he wasn't in time for his dinner, then one day he wasn't in his time at all. Alright, final round, Movie Taglines Part 3. Number one, his story will touch you even though he can't. I have a clue for this, but it's probably too easy with this clue. The same actor has appeared in like several of these movies. So I don't know if that's a good clue or not. Question two, one man's struggle to take it easy. Question three, 40 stories, 12 terrorists, one cop. This is a, a holiday movie <laughs> for several of us. Question four, Earth, take a good look. It could be your last. Question five, an adventure 65 million years in the making. Question six, reality is a thing of the past. Question seven, see it with a bud. Bud could mean a couple different things. <laughs> I'll give you a clue too, it's not Air Bud. I thought it was Air Bud. I am incorrect. Question eight, one dream, four Jamaicans, 20 below zero. Question nine, protecting the earth from the scum of the universe. Question 10, if Nancy doesn't wake up screaming, she won't wake up at all. You guys know this one, I know this one. Question 11, work sucks. True fact, you cannot watch this movie and go to work. <laughs> I don't care how awesome your job is. Do not watch this movie and try to go to your job. Do not. Question 12, the classic story about a boy and his mother. Question 13, the list is life. Question 14, her life was in their hands, now her toe is in the mail. If you know me, you know that I love this movie <laughs> deeply. Uh, I watch it, I have it on Blu-ray and watch it like every six months.
Question 15, put on a happy face. Question 16, when your dad's an undertaker, your mom's in heaven, and your grandma's got a screw loose, it's good to have a friend who understands you, even if he is a boy. Crying, 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 crying. <laughs> Cry movie. Question 17, nothing brings a family together like a murder. I'm kind of hung up on this movie right now, so... If you've watched trivia in the last couple of weeks, you've, you've probably seen this movie recently, or at least a reference to it. Question 18. On the air, unaware. Question 19. The true story of a real fake. And question 20, experience a version of 1969 that could only happen once upon a time. All right, time for the answers. Round one. When you wake up in a different place at a different time is Fight Club. I don't know if I would have called that for this movie, but that's what it was. Question two, it was Monty Python. The clue was, uh, and now for something completely different. I love Monty Python. It's the best. Number three was Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Did, like, were, there were carrots in that movie? <laughs> I, don't, I thought this was going to be like Space Jam or something. But I haven't seen Fast Times since like... Um, 1998 or something so question four is scream scream number one original scream five was american pie that was the most squeaky clean picture i could find from that movie question six was ghost a love that will last forever could be a lot of movies but it was ghost Question seven was National Lampoon's Animal House. I will accept Animal House if you had this poster on your wall in college. Minus one point. Number eight, trapped in time, surrounded by evil, low on gas. That was Army of Darkness. If you had that poster on your wall in college, an extra point. Question nine is The Burbs, a movie that I didn't remember existed, but my husband said it was good and he liked it. So, there you go. Question 10 was Clerks. Yes, it is. Question 11 was the Adams Family movie. I just liked this gift more because <laughs> I like the show. But it was Adams Family. Did you guys know, by the way, Gomez Adams from the TV series is Sean Astin's dad. His name is John Astin. So, Rudy, that's dad. What? Number 12 is Little Miss Sunshine. I thought it was Popeye, but it's not. Number 13 is Mallrats. Oh, Stan Lee's in that one, you guys. 14 is Titanic. <laughs> I'm sorry for the gift, you guys. <laughs> I don't like that movie. I've never seen it, to be fair, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> 15 is Fear and Loathing. I, there's a lot of Johnny Depp in these movies, I realized, once I started to record this, but yep, Fear and Loathing. Question 16 was Clueless. If you guys watched... Uh, like last week, there was an investigation discovery special about Brittany Murphy, who I forgot was in this. She plays like the best friend. But her, she had a very strange, very untimely death. She died really young. So in the comments, if you watch that ID thing, give a shout out. Tell me what you thought. 17 is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. If you said Eternal Sunshine, a point. Oh 
18. Donnie Darko. It's another one. Oh, no, that one doesn't have Johnny Depp, does it? Nope. 19 was almost famous with a whole big close on Tiny Dancer. <laughs> that movie was so good. I don't know if I watched it again if it would be good, but the first time I saw it, I was like, this is the best movie. And number 20, Moulin Rouge. All right, round two. Number one, Father of the Bride. Number two is Get Out. I have kind of a thing for Get There's a couple that I've got a thing for, but i got a thing for Get Out right now. It's awesome. It's so good. Number three is The Sound of Music. Fun fact about The Sound of Music. Just watching a documentary about the making of Cleopatra, the like 60s one, 50s, 60s one. And that movie almost bankrupted the studio. The movie that saved, I forget which studio it was. It put in the comments which studio, I'm forgetting which one. But the movie that saved that studio was The Sound of Music. It was a pretty low budget affair compared to Cleopatra and it made so much money that it, it brought that studio out of bankruptcy. Question four is Taxi Driver. Question five was Weekend at Bernie's. Children of the 80s, literally what is wrong with us <laughs> this movie is so disturbing when you think about it and everybody at the time was like yeah it's a funny movie like no <laughs> weekend at bernie's is a mess six is tommy boy it's a good one seven pinocchio that's a kind of an easy one i guess and if you already got this one as a Disney fan, you'll definitely get the next one, which was Cinderella. Number nine is Superman. <laughs> that is not a gift from the movie. But this uh, tagline was the 70s uh, Christopher Reeve Superman. Question 10, Cry Baby. I don't think I've ever seen this movie. Question 11 is Rocky. Uh, we watch Rocky every six months in this house. Makes my favorite. Question 12, Robocop, <laughs> obviously. Question 13 was E.T. Oh, E.T. Question 14 was Finding Nemo. Question 15, Scarface. I do the worst Tony Montana <laughs> impression. I'm not gonna do it, but it's a real bad one. <laughs> it's terrible. 16, Halloween. This is uh, the first, the original 1970s Halloween. Question 17, Austin Powers. I don't, what year did that even come out? But it feels like it was like a thousand years ago. <laughs> Like nine, I don't know, 99? Something like that? Question 18, Beauty and the Beast. That tagline, though, could have been. A t I could think of a ton of other movies that that would work for. Question 19, Terminator. In this case, it was the original Terminator. And question 20 was the original Back to the Future, the first one. All right, part three. Number one, Edward Scissorhands, again with the Johnny Depp. It's a, it's a good movie, though. Come on. Question two, was Ferris Bueller? <laughs> Cameron. Question three, of course it was Die Hard. Hi, Hans Gruber. Question four, Independence Day. Question five, is Jurassic Park my favorite, my beloved Jurassic Park? Love gal. Six, The Matrix. This uh, tagline was for the first one. Question 
question seven was dazed and confused. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is never getting out from under this movie. Every, like, how many times a week do you think somebody walks up to him and is like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> it's been 30 years. He's never getting over dazed and confused. Question eight, cool runnings. Question nine, men in black. <laughs> Question 10, original Nightmare on Elm Street. Nancy. 11, it's office space. Come on, wreck that printer. Question 12, is Psycho? I don't know if that was the original tagline or if it's from like one of the DVD releases, but it's a good one. Question 13, Schindler's List. I can't believe that's the 25th anniversary of that movie, but I guess it came out like mid-90s, something like that. Question 14, is The Big Lebowski? I love The Big Lebowski. If you love The Big Lebowski too, comment below. <laughs> if you think it's only okay, don't comment. It's going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> 15, is Joker from 2019. Sixteen is my girl. All the crying. Question seventeen. Knives out. I've kind of got a thing for knives out right now. Potato face James Bond. Doing a quite the southern accent, and by quite I mean really, really overblown. <laughs> Question eighteen. The Truman Show. Question 19, Catch Me If You Can. Also a pretty good book. And question 20, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It's kind of an easy one, I guess, but I didn't realize it was an alternate retelling and then I didn't watch the movie and then my husband was like, no, you should watch it. But then he gave away the ending and I was like, nah. All right, so how did you do? If you got zero to 20 correct, you're not that into movies. Maybe you're more of a gamer. If you got 20 to 40, you've got a DVD collection. You might have, like, a couple VHS left. You don't have a way to play them, but you got a couple. And then if you got over 40, you basically live in a movie theater. Good job. You're a movie buff. Thanks for playing, everybody. Speaking of gamers, the theme for next week will be games. <laughs>